Welcome to Virtual STEM Club Twisty Tornadoes. I'm Sandy and today we are going to create our own little weather system in a bottle and we are going to create some tornadoes. You should have picked up your take and make bag which will have everything that you need for this experiment. Let's get started. In your take and make bag you'll find two clear bottles a couple of color tablets, fizzy color tablets, and then a tornado connector. And this little connector is going to help us easily create our tornado. From home, you're going to need some water and you can either take your bottle right to the tap and fill it, or if you want to do a pitcher and do it that way, you certainly can. And some napkins or a cloth or a paper towel in case we get some drips. Make sure you're doing this in a place that's okay with your parents. And so the first thing we want to do is just take one of the bottles. We'll drop our color tablets right in the bottle. And why we're using these is the color will make the water turn colors, obviously. And then that will allow us to better see the formation of the tornado when we get to that point. So you're going to take your water and you'll fill it um, probably about three quarters full. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because the experiment won't work if we do that. So somewhere where the bottle kind of starts to round, somewhere below that. So we'll just take our water and try not to get all over the place. And then see how we're turning colors already. <coughs> Just somewhere right around there. So once you've done that, if you've got any water on your work surface, you can clean that up. And then while we're waiting for our tablets to dissolve, you can see them kind of fizzing. And again, they're just in there to help us visualize our tornado better. We're going to take our connector and the bottle that has water in it, we're going to start with that one, and you're just going to turn it like you're putting a top back on something. And if it goes on a little hard, you can ask an adult or an older sibling to help you with this. But just keep turning that until you can't turn it anymore. We want that on good and tight so that we don't have any leaks with our water. So just Keep turning it as tight as you can. And there, I can't get that anymore. And once that's done, our tablets are still fizzing a little bit down in there. We're gonna take the empty bottle, we're gonna turn it upside down, and then we're gonna screw that into our connector. And again, you wanna keep turning that. I don't know if you can see, you just wanna keep turning it until they're connected, until you can't turn it anymore. We want them as tight as we can get them. I think it's about as tight as that one's going to go. And so now we've got them, we've got them connected. Each of the bottles is screwed as tight as we can get it into the connector and we'll just give that another turn just to make sure. We'll make sure that our tablets are all dissolved so they don't block the hole in the connector. And by that I mean in your connector there is there's a hole in there. I don't know if you can see that on camera but that's going to let the water flow through each one of the bottles so that we can create our tornado. Now that we have everything connected then, good and tight, we're going to flip our bottle. So just take your bottle, flip it over, and then kind of swirl it around like so, and then you can see your tornado forming in your bottle. 
and you can watch it and keep going all the way through. And you can also experiment with us. You could take it and flip it and see if you can get the same reaction if you spin it different ways. Now, when I spin this to the left, I'm not getting a tornado. But if I do it to the right, it creates my tornado. So you might have to experiment with the way that you spin your bottle when you flip it upside down. Um, if at first it doesn't work, try it the other way and see if you can get your tornado to form. called a vortex and that is when the water gets pulled down and the air gets pulled up creating the swirls that you can see in the water. Make sure you're going the same way. All right and in nature a tornado is created when we have cold air and warm air meeting and then they just don't play well. The the two weather systems clash and they will, can create a tornado. Not every time, but that makes the potential there. It makes the potential for it go up. And there also needs to be moisture in the air for a tornado, like when it's raining or really humid. So the two systems will meet and then, or actually they just, they more crash together. And then they create a tornado which is the vortex of the water go or the air going up through the water and the water pulling down. And then if you were if you were able to view a tornado from the sky, you would see that the center of the tornado is hollow. And that's called the eye of the tornado, and that's where it's the vortex is the air is coming up through, and that makes it hollow. Thank you for joining us for Twisty Tornadoes today. I hope you enjoy this project, and we would love to see any video or pictures of you doing the project, and you can share them with us at the email address coming across your screen. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.